Cygnus A is the first radio galaxy discovered in astronomy. It is located in the constellation Cygnus and is approximately 600 million light years or 184 megaparsecs from Earth. In 1939, American amateur astronomer Grout Reber discovered a fairly powerful cosmic radio source, which was later identified with its visual extragalactic counterpart, a separate galaxy later named Cygnus A. It was after this discovery that galaxies began to be classified as normal galaxies and radio galaxies. The radio output of this discovered galaxy was estimated at 100 sextillion watts, which was considered a record at the time. In Carl Sagan's book Contact, the galaxy Cygnus A is even cited as an artificial construct of extraterrestrial civilizations. In 1953, Research by radio astronomers Roger Clifton Jennison and Renal Kumar Das Gupta revealed that the radio source Cygnus A is binary, consistent with two relativistic jets emitted in opposite directions by opposite poles of an active galactic nucleus. Cygnus A's diameter may exceed 400,000 light years, approximately three to four times that of our Milky Way. The galaxy's mass may be between five and 10 trillion solar masses. Cygnus A is likely an elliptical galaxy with an active nucleus, characterized by powerful ejections. The culprit behind these phenomena is a central supermassive black hole with a mass of 2 to 3 billion solar masses. Apparently, this black hole is surrounded by a fairly massive accretion disk of gas and dust, intensively feeding on its material and ejecting relativistic jets in opposite directions. Studies in 2016 to 2017 revealed that another supermassive black hole, with a mass up to several hundred million times that of the Sun, is located 1,500 light years away. Apparently, the second black hole is a companion of the first and significantly influences the periodicity and intensity of its primary companion's various energetic emissions. At the same time, further studies of the secondary companion revealed a higher accretion rate that is, the absorption of matter, than that observed in its more massive companion. It is believed that a system of two supermassive black holes may have formed after the merger of two comparable galaxies, which formed the modern radio galaxy Cygnus a approximately two and a half billion years ago. The activity of the galaxy's core and the presence of abundant gas and dust trigger active star formation processes, which are likely occurring vigorously both in the central part of the object and at its periphery. Research into this fascinating radio galaxy is currently ongoing.